Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Tech Tuesday. Today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to back up a little bit. We're going to talk about some of the fundamentals of shooting and why the MCK can improve your ability to shoot. So first of all is understanding how grip works. We, in a previous grip, uh, video, you'll notice that we did the three-part series on the fundamentals of shooting. We did cover stance grip, side alignment, sight picture, trigger control, breathing in there. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna break that down into the grip. Now, this is a handgun, right? As you know, we always verify, physically and visually inspect that our firearms are clear before we start anything. So the process with the, the handgun is first is, what is a proper grip? A proper grip, obviously you, uh, there are terms out there like firm handshake, strong grip. However, not everybody has a firm handshake and not, but not everybody has a strong grip. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some guidance on how to establish your strong or firm grip. First thing is on the back of the gun, we have what's called the back strap. If you take your hand and open it up, like I have my right hand right now, right? You're gonna notice that I'm forming somewhat of a V, all right? With uh, the web of my hand here. What I want is the back strap area to fit into the palm of the hand with the webbing going up as high as it can go. Once I have that, what I wanna do is I wanna squeeze as hard as I can. And if you'll notice, the front end is shaking. This is what we call a convulsive grip. We're applying pressure from front into the palm of the hand. What I wanna do is I wanna back off enough so that I still maintain a tight or firm grip, but that front end stops shaking. Then you re you're at a point now where this is your grip. This is what you need to maintain. Remember folks, a handgun, it's not a hands gun, it's a handgun. It was designed to be fired with one hand. Shooting with two hands is a luxury. Using an MCK is gonna give you more shooting stability and it's gonna convert the way you shoot. So with that said, all right, following safety, we are gonna apply this same principle of a firm grip, right? And we'll talk about this in, in other episodes, but basically there is a cycle of operation for the handgun. If you don't maintain a strong grip and strong wrist while the gun is doing its uh, cycle of operation, in simple terms, firing, unlocking, extraction, ejection, right? Feeding, chambering, locking, and repeating the process. Firing means bang, and then everything goes back, so you're going through the cycle of operation as the slide is kicking back and forth, all right? If I do what's called limp wristing, I can interfere with the ability of the slide to go back all the way, and that can cause issues, all right? It can cause failure to feed, failure to chamber, failure to extract, failure to eject. By maintaining a firm grip, I'm allowing the gun to do its cycle of operation properly. If you're in the MCK, that same principle still applies. So we're in, okay? This is the Dagger MCK, which we just released a couple of weeks ago. It is available there. We are using what's called our TAC option. On the website, when you are purchasing in the drop-down menu, it asks you, what would you like to equip it with? It gives you four choices. Choice number one is a Gen 2 stock. Choice number two is usually a Gen 2 stabilizer. Choice number three is a short stabilizer. And choice number four is a TAC. When you select the TAC option, it comes with thumb rests and a one point sling with a push button swivel. It does not come with either a stock or a stabilizer. All right, now I am applying the same principle. I have my firm grip as I established prior to going in. Now, when I'm using my support hand, as indicated here, and also folks, how is this front grip area, or what we call the potato of the MCK designed? Well, it is designed so that you can palm it. However, 
you want to take your index finger and wrap it around this section right here. Three fingers underneath, one finger in front, and your thumb on the thumb rest. And here, what I can do is I am going to apply what we call a push-pull method. Right? If I were to try to pull both back, I have nothing to provide stability for me while shooting the MCK. So the principle is high firm pistol grip on the gun, gun pushes forward, support hand on the MCK, push it back. All right, with the addition of the one point sling, once it's equipped, I have a little bit more pulling on the MCK into my firm grip. Now I have the stability platform that I'm looking for, and I am able to shoot while holding the MCK. Again, I'm not shouldering it, so by default, I have to use the push-pull method. We recommend, if you're learning how to shoot an MCK for the first time, whether you're using the TAC or any of the other options, the stock, the stabilizer, or the short stabilizer, always use the push-pull method. It's going to provide more stability, and more consistency in your grouping. Hopefully this helps, folks. If you have any questions, don't forget to write them in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.